Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Delish 2021, live from the Andrew P. Borowski Culinary Arts Center. Oh, hi there. Welcome to Delish 2021, presented by Ultimate Kronos Group. My name is Michael Wild, and I have had the pleasure to work with Ark Broward for several years as a board member, and tonight I'm pleased to be your host. We know this event looks different than in years past, but we are grateful to have you all joining us virtually this evening to support the tremendous work Ark Broward does in our community. We look forward to coming together in person again in the near future. Ark Broward's mission is to transform the community by providing opportunities for people with disabilities and life challenges to reach their full potential. Ark Broward serves over 1,200 families each year. Tonight, you will meet a few of the amazing students of the Ark Educates Entry-Level Culinary Arts Certificate Program. This program gives our students the training and skills to find meaningful employment in the restaurant and hospitality industries. You will also get a sneak peek of the brand new Andrew P. Borowski Culinary Arts Center and watch as we announce the Mary N. Porter Student Chef of the Year Award. But first, Let's get this evening started out with our delicious signature cocktail kit. Please join Rebecca in making this sugar-free lemon drop. Good evening, everyone. I am Rebecca Howard, and this evening we'll be making a sugar-free lemon drop cocktail with Mirabursk and a Tito's handmade vodka. First, Step to making this cocktail is taking a Mirabers tablet, place it on your tongue and let it dissolve. Mirabers is a miracle fruit product that temporarily lets sour and acidic foods and drinks taste sweet. No added sugars or sweeteners needed. Now we're going to add some ice, just a few ice cubes guys. Then we're going to add some fresh squeezed lemon juice. And now we're gonna go in with an ounce of Tito's handmade vodka. I love using Tito's because it's smooth and makes any cocktail taste great. It goes well with sparkling water, lemonade, or just water and lemon. So we're just gonna pour an ounce. Here we go. And from there, just add a splash of Perrier. Give it a little stir. And finally, we're gonna garnish with some lemon. And there you have it, a sugar-free lemon drop cocktail, perfect for summer. Enjoy. Wow, this cocktail is refreshing and delicious. Let's all do a toast in honor of the first ever virtual delish. A special thanks to Tito's Handmade Vodka, Miraburst, Special Needs Group, our exclusive water partner, Perrier and San Pellegrino, and our beer partner, Funky Buddha Brewery. Next up, I'm so excited to share an exclusive sneak peek here at the brand new Andrew P. Borowski Culinary Arts Center. Hello, I'm Dennis Haas, President and CEO of ARC Broward, a 65-year-old nonprofit organization in Broward County. I want to welcome you to the Andrew P. Borowski Culinary Arts Center, the result of a dream and a vision that was created in 2015 to advance and expand the capabilities of ARC Broward's groundbreaking social enterprise, ARC Culinary, which uses food as a tool to improve and transform lives. The center also advances the overall mission of Ark Broward to help people with disabilities and various other life challenges to be able to live, learn, work, and play in their communities and to change the perspectives of members of the community to recognize how capable they really are. 
The center will also give us the ability to help more people achieve self-sufficiency through food service. In addition to obtaining jobs in the industry, the organization will be able to provide more healthy meals to the community through catering, its food service management services, cooking classes, and much, much more. The center also represents a great return on the investment of our community partners, the state of Florida, private foundations, many businesses and individuals. They can be proud of the center and how many people that it will help for many years to come. Located on the Art Broward main campus in Sunrise, Florida, the Andrew P. Borowski Culinary Arts Center includes 8,000 square feet of teaching, catering, and production kitchens, which are state-of-the-art and absolutely magnificent. From the moment you enter the Frederick A. DeLuca lobby, you are immersed in all things culinary. Even the bookshelves contain cookbooks from all over the country. The Emeril Lagasse Foundation Innovation Kitchen will host classes and demonstrations, both live and virtually. There's even a living wall for students and chefs to grow and use herbs and other fresh items. And it can be opened to expand into the adjacent Moss Conference Room. The impressive Mary Ann Porter Commercial Kitchen with its cooking and prep areas and customized teaching stations includes state-of-the-art equipment donated by Bering Industries, MJAC, Advanced Hood Systems, and ITW, among many others. Classroom instruction will take place in the Hudson Family Foundation and Publix Charities classrooms, and there's extensive storage, refrigeration systems, and other related commercial kitchen equipment and technology to support the exciting and meaningful activity that will provide opportunities to so many for a long time to come. Our culinary is so excited to be a big part of the student and graduate experience for those who enroll in our entry-level culinary arts program. We're able to prepare them fully for jobs in our local community, in restaurants, in nursing homes, in schools, and a variety of settings that will allow them to gain practical skills develop their professional skills, advance themselves, become financially self-sufficient, and just gain greater independence in the community. And we're just thrilled about the opportunity to be a big part of that and to make the students' experience here a success. One of the things that's most important for us and what we hope to accomplish here is to provide an opportunity for students to participate in a post-secondary program that they may otherwise never have had the chance to engage in. So many individuals with disabilities and other life challenges, when they complete high school, don't understand or know about what their opportunities are for post-secondary education. And that education, we know, is important to making sure that students are ready to enter a program, successfully complete the program, and then become employed in the community. And so without programs that are tailored to meet the needs of students with disabilities and other life challenges, students may otherwise not have a chance to enter the workforce and, and become gainfully employed and, and productive members of our community. So, you know, this program does provide tremendous opportunity for students who otherwise didn't understand that or know they had this opportunity. Students who complete the 16-week program have tremendous opportunities to gain employment in our community. We have a, um, a team of individuals through our ARC Works department who help students determine what their passions are, their culinary passions, what type of setting they would like to work in, whether that would be a restaurant or um, a hospital setting or a school setting, doing a variety of different types of things based upon their interests. So our ARC Works team will provide them support to find jobs, help them successfully transition into the job, learn the skills on the job, and then they'll fade themselves out and just support students in the long term. But our goal is obviously for students to realize their passion for uh, for wanting a job and a career, and the culinary industry is, is provides tremendous opportunities for that because there's so many places that students and graduates can get jobs in and eventually grow in and have passionate culinary careers. It's just great food for a great cause, and that's the reason why we're all here. We invite you to contact us to learn how you can become part of the art culinary journey. What a magnificent space. I know Arc Culinary has some amazing future events planned and look forward to hosting you for cooking demonstrations, classes, and our signature traveling plate dinners very soon. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's get to know the amazing chefs behind the delicious appetizers in your Delish Party Box. First, I'd like to introduce you to Robert. 
Robert graduated from the ARC Educates Entry Level Culinary Arts Certificate Program in 2019 and is currently employed with ARC Culinary. Today, Robert has prepared a wonderful beer cheese dip with pretzel bites in partnership with ARC Culinary's very own executive chef, Christina Lane. Thank you, Mike. Uh, as Mike mentioned, I'm Christina Lane. I'm the executive chef here at Art Culinary. Uh, I've been with Art Culinary for about uh, almost two years, and this is my first Delish, so I'm very excited to be here and uh, to uh, join the Delish event. This evening, I'm here with Robert, and we have prepared a beer cheese dip and some soft mini pretzels made with Funky Buddha's Floridian beer. Robert, so what would you say is the best part that you enjoyed making this dish for the Delish event? I had to say it would be the last part. The fact that I never knew that you can basically boil uh, bread at, at the beginning before layering the, the egg yolk and as well as baking it. That definitely is a very interesting part of making the pretzel dough. That was my favorite part as well. Mm. You graduated in October of 2019 and you actually pretty quickly got hired with us as one of our cook. What is uh, the, the skill that you have honed, at the thing that you have enjoyed the most uh, here? Well, I really enjoy being around the, the people in this group, understanding like, like their different variations of personality, understanding their strengths, their weaknesses. And throughout my time, both from the program as well as currently, I improved my uh, knife skills, what everyone has been praising upon for almost a year uh, that I've been here. How do you think that skill has uh, helped you rather at home or even like at work? You know, how do you, how do you s compare yourself to when you started to now? Well, what, before I even came to the program, my knife skills was, was, well, basic. It was flavorless, basically. But <laughs> when I came to you guys, you guys were able to make me improve upon my, my night skill dr drastically. So I'm very grateful and happy that you guys were able to do that. Absolutely. So at home, you're able to get dinner done pretty quickly, huh? Pretty much. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so what have you enjoyed the most here at uh, working at Art Culinary? Like, what, are the, what is it that you enjoy the most uh, with us as a team, you know, doing? Well, before the pandemic, I really enjoyed being with you guys during event, events, which are honestly amazing, especially the current event we're having right now. Me too. I, I tell you that much. I can't wait to get back to those and, uh, you know, going out there and showing off what we can do. So um, you and me both, I really enjoy that. Mm. Well, thank you, Robert. I uh, really enjoyed talking to you and presenting our dish. I really enjoyed it too. Anything else? Thank you for joining with us. I hope we see you soon. Thank you, Robert and Chef Christina. That cheese dip looks amazing. You had me at beer. I hope you at home are all enjoying it. A special thank you to our executive chef sponsors, PNC Bank, Moss Construction. Our next graduate is also a recent 2021 ARC Educates Entry Level Culinary Arts Certificate Program graduate. Meet Alicia. She has prepared grilled peach stuffed with herb goat cheese wrapped in bacon with ARC Educates Chef Instructor Nyala. Hi everyone, I'm Chef Nyala and I'm one of the ARC Educates Chef Instructors. I'm here tonight with Alicia and we have prepared a delicious grilled peach stuffed with herb goat cheese wrapped in bacon and drizzled with a delicious balsamic drizzle. Alicia, what would you say was the best part about making this recipe? That the girl, the grilled garlic and the goat cheese goes well together, bring more flavor. I think the grill definitely makes a lot of flavor. It gives that smoky flavor to the dish. <laughs> You are a current graduate of the culinary program. Can you tell us what was your favorite part of the program? That meeting new people and learning different techniques and I enjoy learning new skills. What do you think is the most important skill you learned from the program? That I learned um, new cutting skills and um, learning new recipes. Now that you graduated, what are your plans for the future? I want to be a catering chef and a master chef. 
Wow, Alicia, I see great things in your future and I'm so glad you were able to join us today. Thank you so much for being here and we hope to see you all soon. That looks incredible, Alicia and Chef Nyala. Thank you to our sous chef sponsors, Bank of America, Truist, Public Supermarket Charities, Trip Scott, and Marsh and McLennan Agency. Our last graduate for the evening is Daniel. Daniel also recently graduated from the ARC Educates entry-level culinary arts program. This evening, Daniel has prepared smoked chicken over corn cream in partnership with ARC Educates chef instructor, Rebecca Howard. Hello everyone, my name is Chef Rebecca and I am a student chef instructor here at Art Broward. Danny and I are excited to be here tonight. We have prepared a smoked chicken over a corn cream, which is garnished with jalapenos, orange zest, and a little bit of tarragon oil, kind of to remind you of a, a barbecue chicken with cornbread. So Danny, what was your favorite part of making this recipe? Um, I liked bringing all the ingredients together um, finding how the different flavors play off of each other. Uh, I really like the smoked flavor of the chicken. Um, I'm always a fan of cilantro and the jalapenos just give it a nice little kick. Awesome, Danny. Who or what inspired you to be a, in the culinary arts? I'm in the kitchen alone and I think of my grandparents I try to put myself in their shoes for a second mm -hmm. and just think, what, what would I make out of the ingredients that I have in front of me? Um, I also have uh, a family member who is uh, in the Italian restaurant industry. Mm. And he also um, inspired me to do what I'm doing now. Awesome, Danny. You recently graduated from the Culinary Arts program. What was the best part of being in the program, Danny? The best part of being in the program was working together with the chef instructors, uh, the students in the classroom and in the kitchen, um, being a team player, being able to learn new techniques, uh, using the kitchen to the most of its ability. Awesome, and you've definitely improved and gained a lot of skills. So are there any skills you learn from the program that has helped you at home? Uh, yes, of course. Um, any knife uh, techniques, cutting, chopping. Mm -hmm. um, the cooking techniques are also uh, very much used um, at home by myself. So what would you like to do in the future? I see myself in the catering business. I would like to move forward into a uh, hotel restaurant mm. industry. Um, if I find my own style, uh, I wouldn't uh, stop at just the restaurant industry. I would like to become maybe a personal chef. Awesome, Danny. I just think your future is so bright. And I think with this dish tonight, it just shows how far you can go. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Have a great night. Thank you. Amazing, Daniel and Chef Rebecca. Everything tonight has been so delicious. Thank you to our Chef de Party sponsors, BDO, Cheryl Higgins, Dumore, Allsworth, Laystrom, Voigt, Adair, and Dishowitz LLP, Center State Bank, the Meyerson family, and Shelly Spivak. I would like to take a moment to congratulate Alicia, Robert, and Daniel on their well-deserved successes. We are so happy to share in the excitement of your graduation and are very proud of you all. We know you'll all do great things in your careers. As you continue to enjoy your delish party box at home, I would like to welcome Ark Broward's very own Kim Vassar. Thanks, Mike. Hi, and good evening. My name is Kim Vassar, and I'm the Vice President of Philanthropy at Arc Broward. I'm so excited to be here with you all this evening for the first ever Virtual Delish. I am blown away by every one of these graduates, and it's truly an honor to be a part of this amazing organization and event. This event would not be possible without all of you who are here this evening, 
and the hard work and dedication of the staff at ARC Broward, the ARC Educates Chef Instructors, and our Executive Chef, Christina Lane, and the entire ARC Culinary team. This event is special in so many ways, but most importantly, it's about sharing our mission with you so that you can see firsthand how your support truly changes so many lives in our community. I speak to you this evening, not only as a proud member of the team here, but as a mother with a child with a disability and an Arc Broward preschool mom. You see, no one is born equipped with the resources to navigate the complexities of having a child with a disability. There is no guidebook that walks you through step by step. But fortunately, there is Arc Broward, and it's precisely why our organization was started 65 years ago by local families in our community. Through 20 different programs, our students, participants, and residents have the opportunity to realize their full potential. They each have the opportunity to dream big, find their unique strengths and talents. When you support Arc Broward, you are helping a child in our preschool be given the tools to walk and talk, provide access to critical after-school programming for children and teens with behavioral challenges and autism, give students in our culinary program the training and skills to put them on the path for careers in the culinary arts, providing a continuum of services that help adults with disabilities train for, find, and keep jobs, and bringing a day full of engaging activities, including music, art, nutrition, recreation, and exercise to adults in the program so they can maintain a more healthy and independent life. On the screen, there is a donation link. I ask you this evening to please consider making a gift to help transform the lives of not just those Arc Broward serves, but our entire community. With your support, we can continue to give individuals with a disability the opportunity to reach their potential. Thank you. Thank you, Kim. As Kim mentioned, you can make a donation today by using the website below. Make sure also to share on Instagram and Facebook with your friends and family. In fact, it's probably time for a selfie. And uh, for those at home, see, there we go that would uh, like to share your selfies. I'm gonna pose right now with this picture, so now you can, you can take a picture of yourselves with me right now, so you just different poses. And what I'd like you to do is then share that on Facebook and Instagram, hashtag Delish2021, and uh, the person who has the most likes will be followed by my mother. So that's fantastic. Now, every year at Delish, the leadership names a hardworking and dedicated student as the Student Chef of the Year. Because of the support of the Mary Ann Porter Legacy Fund at the Community Foundation of Broward for the recent ARC Culinary Expansion, we are privileged to have named the Student Chef of the Year Award in Mary's honor and legacy. Here to present the 2021 Mary Ann Porter Student Chef of the Year Award is Community Foundation of Broward President and CEO, Jennifer O'Flannery Anderson. Thank you so much for inviting me to be part of this fantastic event. It is an honor to present the 2021 Mary N. Porter Student Chef of the Year Award to such a deserving graduate this evening. Mary Porter would be so proud to see the impact her legacy fund at the Community Foundation has made on Ark Broward and to the men and women whose lives are forever changed for the better as a result of your Culinary Arts Certificate Program and for her name to be on the award for Chef of the Year. She'd be smiling from ear to ear, knowing her name is on the award that's recognizing the person who has shown great determination and drive throughout their time in this program. This year's Chef of the Year was nominated for his unwavering commitment and excellence throughout his time in the ARC Educates entry-level culinary arts certificate program. He persevered and succeeded in the program while managing a condition that often makes it difficult or painful for him to walk and stand. As a role model and inspiration to us all, he stayed on top of his grades, produced magnificent work in the kitchen and lab, and maintained an A average in the program. So, without further ado, the 2021 Mary N. Porter Student Chef of the Year Award goes to Daniel Oros. Daniel is being honored with his very own Distinguished Chef of the Year coat. 
Congratulations, Daniel. We are so proud of you and can't wait to see where the future takes you. Thank you so much. It's truly an honor to receive this Student Chef of the Year Award. Um, I'm very thankful to everyone, uh, the staff and the instructors here at Arc Broward. Um, I couldn't be more happy with the education that I received here. And I just wanted to say thank you. Congratulations, Daniel. Well deserved. And wait, he's not the only winner tonight. We haven't forgotten about our specialty drawing. Tonight's winner will receive a private dinner for six in the new Emerald Lagasse Foundation Innovation Kitchen. And the winner is... Nope, you're gonna have to check the link on the screen to see if you've won. So make sure you check out that URL below and uh, see if you are a winner just like Daniel was tonight. What a great night this has been. Thank you to presenting sponsor Ultimate Kronos Group and to all of our sponsors for your generous support. Tonight has been one of the greatest nights of the year. There's nothing better than to see the pride on the graduates' faces as they get to share their gifts and love of the culinary arts. I've had such a great time being your host tonight. Thanks once again to our sponsors, to the ARC Educate Entry-Level Culinary Arts Certificate Program graduates, to ARC Culinary, and to the staff at ARC Broward. And thank you all for tuning in tonight. Money raised will go to support Art Broward's goal of changing the community's perception of people living with disabilities. And on behalf of Art Broward, thank you all for being a part of the Lish. It looks like I'm in need of another sugar-free lemon drop. So we'll have to leave it there and we'll see you all at Delish 2022 live in person next year. <laughs>